What's up guys, Jason from Thinline Defense. And today we're gonna to take a look at my loadout that I put together from Haley Strategic. We'll go over what doodads I have on my setup and sort of touch on why I chose what I chose for this setup. Now, there's a couple things from Shaw Concepts that's thrown in as well, and I'll touch on why I chose those when we get to that. Let's get into it. Now, this isn't the first Haley product that we've seen on this channel. Their multi-mission hanger pouch did really well in our dedicated review and took second place overall for danglers. And honestly, it seems like the rest of this stuff is just really good quality, just as good as we saw with that multi-mission hanger. And that kind of leads to me having a predicament. I had originally planned to just buy this stuff, do a review, and then turn around and sell it. But I really do like this stuff and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to let this stuff go. So let's do an overview of what I have and kind of give you my idea about why I did what I did. And I do wanna clear something up right here at the beginning. I don't hate chess rigs, but I do prefer plate carriers. Now I understand the reasons why people would want a chess rig. They're lightweight, helps with recon, allows you to keep the bare essentials on you. And I use chess rigs. I love them in classes and out on the range for a lot of those reasons. However, if I assume that I'm gonna get into a firefight, why wouldn't I have body armor with me? And so those are the reasons I typically lean towards having a plate carrier setup versus a chess rig setup. And this Haley Thorax is what we're using as a base today in this plate carrier build out. When ordering your plate bags, you have a plethora of colors to choose from. You also have size differences. Now, this is probably my biggest gripe with companies that offer sizes for plate carriers. If you have large sappy plates, go ahead and buy the large plate bags. Don't do what I did, which was buy the large plate bags and then have a problem even getting the LA Police Gear level four plates to not slide around in the plate bag. But that one's on me. Their website says that the plate bags can expand to fit sappy plates and I just assumed that they would fit 10 by 12s. Fortunately, there's a system in place to make it so the plate's not bouncing around in the plate bag. Now, both plate bags have the same opening at the bottom and securing method for securing the plates in the plate bag. And Haley's claim on their website is that it's secure enough even for airborne operations, which we are not going to test. No. For the front plate bag, you have a section of looped molly so you can add an admin pouch or your favorite patches. On either side is a covered section where the shoulder straps connect to the plate bag. This is also where the quasim buckle attached to the shoulder strap can allow the placard system to tie in. Now, I do wish that we had a spot where we can kind of stuff in extra cables for when we're routing comms. We don't have that with the front or the rear plate bag. Below that is a wide Velcro field for your cummerbund to tie into and for a nice placard to secure to. On the body side of the plate bag, you have a really nice padded area that helps with airflow to ensure your shirt doesn't get soaked in sweat as fast as it might with other carriers. And the last thing to touch on on this front plate bag is the shoulder strap itself, which is connected to the plate bag. This long shoulder strap ensures proper fit for a wide size range of people. Now, you do need the rear plate bag to adjust the fit properly, which sort of makes sense. You're gonna buy both at the same time anyways. And with that, let's take a look at the rear plate bag. Now, as mentioned, the rear plate bag has what feels like an aluminum buckle for shoulder strap adjustment. And this slim profile buckle will help reduce any potential snagging you might have to deal with. It has great connection into the plate bag with box and X stitching. The top of the plate bag has a hybrid Velcro molly field and then fully molly top to bottom. The bottom section has a flap to secure the cummerbund to the plate bag in the rear. And finally, the body side has the same padded area like the front plate bag. All right, next let's take a look at the cummerbund that I bought with this kit. I chose their chicken strap cummerbund. I really like this cummerbund because it's small, it's lightweight. You got this mesh lining on the body side paired with nice padding to ensure good comfort when wearing this for long periods of time. And it still gives you the capability to add side plates if you want to add that to this or attach molly to the cummerbund directly. 
Now up in the shoulder area, I went with the Shaw Concepts Arc version two shoulder strap pads. And it's the only thing on this whole setup that's not from Haley Strategic. And the main reason was, well, multi-cam at Haley was sold out. Now, I really like the Shaw Concept shoulder pads because of the mesh that they put here against the neck. So your neck's not rubbing against Cordura all day. And we all know what happens when you come home from a day of LARPing and Amazon gear. Your neck looks like Hickey Central. Then you're spending all afternoon trying to convince the wife that it wasn't the girl on your airsoft team, it was that cheap Amazon shoulder pad. So just save yourself some heartache. Buy good quality shoulder pads and not cheapo ones from Amazon. Shaw saves relationships. <laughs> All right, time for accessories. First thing I wanna talk about is the triple rifle mag pouch. And I don't know if they do this at Haley, but I've just started calling this the Trump. And mine's covered with the Trump auxiliary molly panel. This panel ties into the Trump using Velcro and some plastic tabs that tie in where the magazines are inserted. Although this placard system is a little thicker than something like the Agilite Pincer placard, I love the magazine retention. With some type of plastic or Kydex inserts, this placard has an S-Tac retention feel. I highly doubt that my magazines are gonna come flying out of this thing anytime soon. A design feature that is really cool with this placard not only can it accept standard AR mags, but you can use the same placard for AK mags for my comm block buddies, or even AR-10 magazines for those who really wanna reach out and touch someone. Now, for me, this is a huge perk for this placard. Instead of buying different placards for AKs or for AR-10 or SR-25 mags, you could buy this one placard, have awesome retention, and depending on your mission, just swap magazines out right here. Now the placard itself is pretty great, but the Trump auxiliary molly panel really allows for a nice kit build out depending on what you need. Currently I have a Haley double pistol pouch attached and I wanna leave the space here for a nice admin pouch. I'm a fan of having some writing tools and basic EDC stuff in my admin pouch. Now I had a Haley multi-tool pouch on this, but I never used it so I took it off. Now the double pistol pouch is pretty good for an elastic pistol pouch. I think if I could choose, I'd rather have the Grim Hunter tactical ones, but I kind of like not having to pay for shipping from two different companies and just buy everything at one spot. Finally, the last piece is one that we've reviewed already and that's the Haley Strategic Multi-Mission Hanger Pouch. As I talked about in my review, I built this out to use as a medical kit. Now I do like the capability that the Shaw brings to the table along with the Agilite with the Mission 7, a, a QD adapter on that. But I feel like this is the next best thing with a tearaway medical inserts. All in all, this is a really good kit I was able to put together through Haley Strategic. With all that being said, having this for as long as I have, there are some things that I'd like to see different. And this is a gripe that I have with a lot of these uh, military contract type companies. If you're marketing to the everyday man, why are you selling stuff that, unless you're in the military, you can't find? Even in the law enforcement market, we're issued your industry standard 10 by 12 hard plates and not weird size sappy plates. With that being said, I would love it if there was a one size fits all plate bag that you can buy from Haley, something that is just for the 10 by 12s that are out there. You don't have to worry about, am I buying the right size? You just buy the plate bag knowing that it's going to fit anything that you put in it. Now, I think the medium thorax plate bags would fit the 10 by 12s better than this. I mean, you can see like, there's a whole probably inch of space at the top of this. The plate is secure, it's not gonna fall out, but it doesn't really fit the plate bag very well. Another thing that I ask Haley for, some type of admin or general purpose pouch. Getting a Haley product to fill this gap is doable, but Haley doesn't offer a GP or admin pouch. And I feel like I'm missing out here. The other thing that I'd ask Haley to do, design a pistol pouch that functions like your Trump. I don't think I'm gonna get tired of calling this a Trump. Now, I understand that you can't design a pistol pouch or it'd be very hard to design a pistol pouch that can hold double stack and single stack magazines. But the retention capabilities of the Trump are amazing. I'd love to see that kind of scaled down into their pistol pouches. With all that being said, I wanna reiterate something that I talked about at the beginning of this video. I pinched my nose and paid for all this stuff 
honestly thinking, I'm not going to like it. I'm not going to like the price that I'm paying. It's not going to be worth it. I'll do the review, then I'll get rid of everything. Then I get to using Haley's products. And I told Walsh, I don't think I could part with a lot of this stuff. So hats off to Haley. You guys made a believer out of me, someone that's a cheapskate. Man, I love your gear. With all that being said, guys, I just want to say thanks to our Patreons and our YouTube members. You guys make this possible, and we, we wouldn't be here without you. And thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below. Let me know what Haley product you like the most. All right, folks. I'm out.